welcome to pavitra laptop care today's topic is core ic what it is what it does hmm? someone given a comment in our uh, in a video okay uh, he wants to know about core ic Uh, for him, I am making this uh, video. But anyway, for PLC students, I am making this because uh, for better un- uh, understanding about the core IC. Okay. Anyway, see this core IC. It's like a normal IC. There is nothing special in it. If you know the basic concepts, right? See, before telling this core IC, I want to tell some basics. first you know the basics then only you come to understand what exactly the core ic does see ic <coughs> integrated circuit integrated circuit okay before this first you have to understand what the voltage divider see here here is there Here register one register has given ground and one first register has given supply 19.5 volts right see in voltage divider in simple manner this is very very basic one first you come to know then only uh, you can understand better understand that uh, co- about that core ic see here it's a voltage divider first first register as connected to supply and here second register as connected to ground the pin number 2 should be must be ground and first register point number 1 should be supply then only this middle point will called as v out means voltage divider okay this is very very basic concept you already knows right second concept i'll come instead of register instead of register so we will take a mosfet okay here 1 2 3 4 n channel mosfet we will take 1 2 3 What is this? Here it's five, six, seven, eight. This pin number is drain. Okay. Here pin number one, two, three source. This source again it has connected to where one more MOSFET. That also in channel MOSFET. here it's a drain and source 1 2 3 this one will be connecting to ground source see in voltage divider what it will be here one resistor and here resistor here it will connected to ground and here supply will be there same instead of this resistor this one is called high mosfet and this one is called a low mosfet two mosfet we can connect it hmm? connect each other first mosfet drain is given is connected to where 19 volts 0.5 supply right see here also in voltage divider 19.5 volts will connect but what will be the result here you you will get 3.3 volts or 5 volts or whatever it may be according to these two resistors okay here depends on this mosfet here one more connector will be there that is gate here also one more connector will be there that is gate right see here two mosfet has connected each other one mosfet input has given supply and second mosfet input has given the output of the first mosfet and the output of the second mosfet has given to ground here also same resistor input has given to supply second resistor output has given to ground 
it's like a voltage divider okay but the one thing is i'll rub this and i'll note down on more uh, neatly see if is a uh, two mosfets two mosfets 1 2 3 connected to 1 2 3 4 this is a drain this is a source this is the output right n channel n channel this is called high mosfet this is called low mosfet 1 2 3 4 this is the input 19.5 here this middle point this middle point will be v out okay what voltage it will be any idea this voltage is depending on this gate voltages see in 3 volts ic and 5 uh, volts ic section ea ic will control the gate of these two right hmm? in charging ic 35 step down ic ram ic core ic any ic you take this particular ic will control this high low mosfets through this gate according to this gate voltage you will get v out voltage right if you go to charging section you will get 0.82 something 11 or 10 or 9 or 6 or 2.8 some uh, some of these voltage you will get if you go to 3 phase section in case of 3 section 3.3 voltage 5 volt section 5 voltage and ram section the v out will be v out will be 1.2 in case of ddr4 right so it's very simple what is this it's like a resistor what is that voltage divider it's like a voltage divider first we need to connect as a voltage divider these two mosfets after uh, what is that uh, according to this gate the result in between in between of these mosfets the result will come out that's called v out here in any circuits we called it as a phase you heard it right phase Hmm? Phase voltage. Phase nothing but these voltages. That is coil voltages. Right. This is coil voltages. Now you understood what is voltage divider. First one is supply. Second one is ground. Here in case of MOSFET. this one is supply and this one is ground this also like a voltage divider because here 19 volts input it will take and it gives the appropriate output according to the gates gate voltages but one thing you have to keep it in your mind this gate is not a voltages these all are called pulse according to this pulse see this high low high low some logic will be there according to this logic this will be on off on off like that it will work and finally the output will come like this i'll clear this once again i'll show you the final output final on mate final output see here like this if you check a coil one side you will get this voltage and other side you will get straight voltages here it may be 3.3 5 volts 1.2 or 0.82 9 or 10 whatever it may be it's a battery voltages right so you know why i explained these things you already knows then also i am once again i am explaining instead of v core ic right there is a link between v core ic and these concepts hmm how it's a link that i'll explain now 
this one just i wanted to uh, understand what is the high low mosfet concepts hmm? according to this high low mosfet the v out v out will generate okay the same concept is included in v core ic also see first i will take a uh, example of a schematic so that is the latest one i already took here it's opened one ah see here it's uh, 2021 2020 this is the latest generation uh, schematic this only i will take as example i will search control f charger ah these are the dc jack and here is the charging ic see before going to know about v core first you need to understand the charging ic see this is the charging ic pub 1 what the ic name ic name is bq 24 Seven eight one is the charging IC. What it does first, you come to know about this charging IC. Then only you can you can easily understand the V core IC. See first point I already told high low MOSFET right. See here it will accept input from this diode, but the input is okay. But after uh, getting this input immediately. it won't produce this phase right there will be a concept first it has to check all the things then only uh, once the concept is fulfilled then only the phase voltage will come out right see what it does first it takes input and ground see input and ground will be the input it means it's a complete circuit hmm? next what it will check this ac detect sd acl and all it's for uh, input section that adapter is connected or not that section it will check but for charging the battery to give the voltage to this coil this plb2 what it does first it will just a minute what it will do first See here is the PRB3. What is this? This one is sensing resistor CLR resistor CLR current sensing resistor. See here one main resistor is for what this charging charger is connected or not. That information goes to the IC. How it will go? Simply it won't go. It sense. See this ACP is a positive one. AC AC is an alternate current positive side. alternate current negative side in case if uh, if positive side is more than negative side then it will consider as adapter has connected right it will sense it will sense what it will sense if positive is more than negative then adapter has connected right like that same thing here battery also at a time battery prb19 this also it will sense how cr srp srn this is battery source hmm? p means positive and n means negative in case positive is more than negative it means adapter has connected right hmm? in battery also but once you connect the battery adapter voltage will be more than battery voltage then it will sense according to this high low concept some voltage will comes through this coil and it will add up this battery voltage will add up with this particular voltage then positive will be more and negative will be less negative will be battery voltage and positive will be adapter add on voltage okay anyway first it will sense this resistor and this resistor according to this sense you know why i am telling again and again this is the sense and all there will be a link between v core and this one please note down v core and this one has same concept okay that's why i am explaining you the charging ic 
सी एयर इट्स वन चार्जिंग ए सी एंड एयर वन अदर वन सॉरी दिस वन सी एल आर एंड दिस वन सी एल आर फर्स्ट ए सी पी एस सी एन ए सी पी एस आर एस आर पी एस एस आर पी एंड एस आर एन बोथ विल सेंस इफ इट इज ट्रू देन ओनली द फेस विल रिलीज देन ओनली द फेस विल रिलीज फेस हवेन इट विल रिलीज वंस दिस आर ट्रू दिस एंड दिस आर ट्रू देन फेस विल सॉरी दिस आई सी विल जनरेट वट हाई एंड लो गेट्स हाई एंड लो गेट्स वोटेजेस इट विल जनरेट अकॉर्डिंग टू द पल्स द पर्टिकुलर आउटपुट डी टू एंड एस वन आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू एस वन इज द सोर्स आउटपुट ऑफ हाई मॉसफेट डी टू इज द इनपुट ऑफ सेकेंड लो मॉसफेट ओके इयर एक्चुअली डोएल मॉसफेट हैज यूज सी दिस इज कॉल्ड फेस इट हैज गॉन टू फेस this particular output is depend on gate 1 and gate 2 gate 1 is for high mosfet and gate 2 is for low mosfet okay final output you will get it here when this sense is true okay uh, now exactly what is v core ic i will uh, tell you then you can understand what is that sense and all why i am going to tell these things and what is the use of this sense and uh, sense and all you come to know now see that high low concept just i informed you see this is a high low mosfet here is the phase according to this this is the input see 19 volts charge input is 19 volts but you will get output 12.6 volts approximate 13.5 like that okay next in second see this one ram here also high low concept is there so high is the 19 volts and low has connected to ground and phase you will get through this coil 1.2 voltage mm like that here it's a 2.5 volts same kind of that but it's very less one and one more 1.8 volts it's inbuilt high low mosfet will be there so that's why it's not shown here mm here one more i see we got what it is this is called vrm ic here cpu ic see now i am coming to the point see we, uh, without foundation we can't build the house or building right so that's the reason i have given example for high low mosfet concept voltage divider concept hmm? now i will explain this ic is related to charging ic in charging ic i clearly told you it will sense in high uh, sorry in uh, what it sends uh, in clr positive and negative in uh, first clr and second clr battery side also it will sense it's a positive and negative both were true then only it will release high low mosfets gate voltages not voltages it's a pulse it will release pulse same kind of things here see this one is rt3613 hmm rt3613 just a minute i'll confirm this yes rt3613 this is the cpu core ic first part what i told input right what is the input for this see here 19 vcc in one input 5 volts other one v reference one more input Hmm. Input, input, five volts again, five volts again, five volts always. VCC in. See, in the IC, I am going to tell only general concept of V core IC, not depth one. Okay. In deep, if you want to understand, uh, it will take more time. But it's in uh, paid class only. We can uh, teach everything. But here, basic understanding purpose, I am uh, doing this video. Okay. This is the input. over any ic first it will take vcc and ground right then the circuit will be completed where is the ground ground is must and should hmm ground is must and should see now it's complete circuit input over then it required some enable signals 
any ic will required some enable signals even charging ic also ac okay required before that ac okay uh, ac in section should be there just example i am giving like that this vrm ic is connected to core means to collect the information about core processor processor cores processor having many cores that information it will accept that is the input before that the first enable signal the first enable signal is v or on it may come through the io or some other section okay v or section is the first enable signal after this supply first it will it will accept that this we are uh, we are on signal once we are on signal as come from this page number 11 and 58 uh, forget about those things because i am not going to explain those things just you assume we are on high in the sense it's a point 7 volts low in the sense it's a point 3 volts should be there in case of high it will accept then it will release we are hot you know the we are hot we are hot means the processor it's getting heat or not that information goes through this pro chart understood first enable signal will come then see first is the input sections second thing is we are in uh, we are on uh, enable signal will come then it releases the output the processor is getting hot or not that information going to processor after that once it processor is ready the information about that uh, heat and all everything is ready then processor release some sensing voltages sensing things sensing signals it goes to the this particular ic see what sense here i'll tell you this is svid clock is okay is we had in the sense it's a processor core signals hmm? processor core signals see one is clock other one is data and other one is alert yes the processor is ready to do work once information is pakka if it is a good information goes to this particular ic then all functions will start one by one one by one one by one okay in depth i can't go now so just general information i am giving this sense see vcc in vcc sense that i told you know that uh, in charging section it will sense that uh, what is that clr uh, positive and negative like that here vcc core uh, coil sense coil sense it will accept and again the input feedback will goes to this v sense hmm? and here one more is there see one more way sense it's a ground it is a positive and it is a negative now you understood my point right first this ic will required input signal input in the sense first input voltages to complete the loop second one is we are on signal once we are on signal enable signal comes then it uh, immediately it gives the we are hot signal to the processor it will check processor getting heat or not how much heat is it's getting is it able to work or not that information it goes to processor and second processor if it is a good condition then it will sense some signals it will give to that internal clock will be enable internal crystal will be enabled that through that crystal the signal clock signal data signal and alert signals these all are the input from the processor those information goes to the core io same thing uh, in charging uh, charging ic also if AD, ac okay is good then it goes to io then only io will sense its uh, adapter is connected kind of thing and second thing is in uh, high low mosfet when the gate voltage will come so once the positive and negative of the clr sense is good like this cpu sense it is good then finally it will release this final i am coming to the final one see where is the output pwm1 and pwm2 see here because of less space here it's not given the output thing it has given to page number 89 we will go to page number 89 to understand what is this p 
PWM1 and PWM2. See, high low MOSFET, I told you. If one set of high low MOSFET is there, that's called single phase. If double set is connected to the same IC, then it's called two phase. Okay, here PWM1, it's actually phase 1 and here it's a phase 2. Uh, there is nothing special in VR core IC. It's like a charging IC. It contains multiple section of what? Phase. Hmm? Single phase, double phase, multiple phase. Okay, here actually two phases we are able to see. It's true or false that we can check in page number 89. See, now I'll come to the page number 89. Hmm? See, only these much of pins are there that already told you some sensors it will accept from the IO, uh, from processor and nothing is there all are voltages input voltages and directly it releases the pwm signals it's going out right where it's going page number 89 hmm? this is page number 89 think so just a minute cpu core power stage yeah see PWM2, I already told you PWM1 and PWM2, see PWM1, here is a driver IC, driver IC is for what, it's a gate voltage it will produce, high gate, upper gate and lower gate, the pulse which I told you, you know, the pulse for the gates it produce, what exactly the voltage required, that much of pulse it will generate, this driver IC. Okay, here PWM1, it's a first phase. See what I told, high low MOSFETs. What is divider, right? See, here is the voltage V out. Very simple. Hmm? Need not to scratch your head. See, its input is 19 voltage. Right, see 19 volt is input. It's a high MOSFET. Hmm? Here it is a low MOSFET. It became as a voltage divider through these gates, right? This voltage is de uh, depending on this particular driver. This driver is depending on this input, this first phase input. Where from where it's coming? It's coming from core IC, right? See, here is the output. What is that? VCC in. VCC in signal came out from PLZ1. PLZ1, right? Now what else one more is there one more vcc in this is nothing but core v core vcc in nothing but v core here is the pwm2 see that pmw uh, pwm and enable signal both will come to the driver ic then as i already told you high low mosfets v out will come through this plz2 this is a phase one here one more VCC in. See, in case of same name will be there, this voltage and that voltage will add. Okay. Means it required more current. For example, if you twist the multiple coil, then the ampere, ampere will be more, but voltage will be same. Okay. Like that, here VCC in may be 0.8 to 1.8, but the current gain will be there no that will be more okay here sense i already told you it's a sense 2 and previous one is sense 1 see this one is sense 1 sense 1 hmm? it directly goes to the input of core ic right it's very simple if all inputs are okay then it releases the core I see signal voltage what voltage it required that much of voltage will create here I mean you can get this output of this particular coil okay and one more this sense to this will combine and will make as VCC core means here it's the name as VCC in VCC core V core many kind of names will be there hmm? so next anything else what we call for this ah, here is auxiliary it's a secondary one same kind of ic will be there okay what i see rt6543 one more ic is there it's like a vcc core hmm? what are the signals ah, it's not v core hmm? ah, it's one kind of v core 
its auxiliary voltage will generate but main v core ic is here it has two phase like that if it is one more there then it has three phase in case of four four phase otherwise only one then single phase now you got my point right what is vcc core sorry v core ic that's it from my end it's a very simple uh, uh, basic logic i'm i introduced here so if you want depth so in my class only i can teach to my students okay that's it thank you thank you very much